everybody, my name's Liz, I'm the Baker That Sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. Really lovely as always to have you here watching my videos. So today's video is going to be a pattern, I've got lots of patterns here, and a fabric haul. Again, I've got lots of pieces of fabric to share with you. Um, but before I get stuck into sharing all of those lovely things with you, I thought I'd tell you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing something that I shared in my latest video, which was my November makes for 2020. And it is the Tilly and the Buttons Indigo Dress, made in this amazing fabric that I got from Semi Sunshine. And it's got animals all over it. So we've got like zebras and giraffes and parrots and a tiger. And this is the Indigo Dress, made in the um, midi version with the ruffle at the bottom. It's got pockets. And then I did the button down version. So I've got these lovely buttons on the back. And I absolutely love this dress. It's so colourful and it just makes me smile every time I put it on. So on to fabrics. I've got a few fabrics to share with you this month. I've got a few more that are arriving, but I'll save those for next month. Um, the post is quite slow at the moment. I think with the whole Christmas and lockdown and everything that's going on, it's taking a few weeks for things to arrive, which is fine by me because um, it's quite nice actually receiving them slowly in dribs and drabs. It's quite exciting. I love getting parcels and I especially love getting sewing related parcels. So I'll share the fabrics first and then I'll talk about the different patterns that I've ordered and bought as well. So the first set of fabrics I'd like to share with you. Um, I was inspired by watching um, the lovely Kath from Made by Kath Craft and also Cara from So So Mad. I'll link both of their YouTube channels and Instagrams down below. Um, but they've both shopped with this company and I loved the fabrics that they shared. So I went off and had a little look at their website and I ended up ordering a few pieces of fabric. And it's a company called Itokri. I think I'm saying them correctly. And if I'm not, I'll put links down below anyway to their shop. Um, they are based over in um, India and they have a huge range of beautiful fabrics. So Itokri are a company based over in India. They have got fantastic customer service. From the minute you place your order, you get lots and lots of emails communicating with you that they've received the order, they're packaging it up. They also let you know when it's been shipped. They check in with you to make sure that it's arrived. And then a few weeks later, they check in again just to check that you are really happy with what you've ordered. So fantastic customer service. Um, really, really well priced. Um, amazing pricing over there actually so I'll link their details down below um, I had a look at all the different fabrics and I ordered some cotton pieces from them in different colorways so I'll show you them so this is the first one which is a green background and then it's got like this sort I think it's a brown um, print to it it's quite interesting um, then I ordered this sort of lilac-y purple um, fabric again which has got this has got a black print to it um, and it is um, flowers and it's a repeated pattern Then I've got this dark blue with um, again I think it's brown I think it's brown um, sort of print on there which is lovely and then I've got a darker green fabric too the fabrics are quite lightweight if I hold them up and show you they are quite lightweight and they're quite thin fabrics too so you can see the light through that. So they are quite thin. Um, and what I think I'm gonna do with them is I think I'm just gonna turn them into pajamas. So pajama bottoms, and then just make some jersey tops. Um, they're really beautiful fabrics. I'm not quite sure what garment I would turn them into to wear because they haven't got a huge amount of drape. And there's a little bit of drape, but not a huge amount. So I'm not sure what dress I would turn them into um because i think it might be a bit too lightweight and a bit too firm for a fabric that i would want to wear day to day but for pajamas i think they'll be absolutely perfect but the colors are just beautiful and the prints are really unusual too um so i was really pleased with the purchases that i got from them um and i think this is going to be turned into lots of pajama bottoms for myself my husband and my girls um and i did get my husband to have a look at some of the colors too um, and we each chose a fabric that we liked the look of. Um, really fantastic, reasonably priced and amazing delivery. They arrived really quickly, like within ordering. I think they were here within two weeks, um, which is amazing. So I definitely recommend them. And I'll link their website down below, go and check them out. I think I would order from them again. Um, the next piece of fabric I was sent as a gift from um, Rainbow Fabrics 
I've bought a lot of their fabrics recently and I absolutely love them. They're a family run business. Um, I've turned all of the fabrics that I've bought from them into various different things. It's always really high quality, incredibly well priced. Um, they price their fabrics by meter. You do have to be quite quick when they release new fabrics because they get snapped up quite quickly. Um, and they very kindly sent me um, some of their Japanese cupro, which is in a black colour. So it's going to be a bit tricky to show. It's a bit crumpled because it's been washed. Um, it's got a gorgeous amount of drape and I'm turning this into a pair of trousers. So the Soho has seven free range slacks, I think. I haven't sewn with a Cupro before, so if anyone's got any top tips for how to sew with a Cupro, do let me know. But I will mark this as an ad because it was sent to me. They didn't ask me to share it, they just sent it as a gift, which was very kind. But I will mark it as an ad down below. It's got a beautiful amount of drape and I think that's going to make a really lovely pair of trousers that will just feel lovely and soft against my skin. And I'm really looking forward to trying out sewing with Cupro because it's a new fabric to me. It's really lovely and soft. It's got this lovely like sheen to it, which feels really lovely. So I'm looking forward to getting that sewn up. Then I ordered some jersey from Oso. Um, I saw this a few weeks ago and I've been really tempted, resisted for ages and ages and ages. And then I just had to buy it because I absolutely loved it. It's this tie dye cotton jersey, which I just absolutely love. I'm trying to hold it up so you can see the tie dye pattern. It's got a huge amount of stretch to it it's a cotton jersey love all of the colors um, and this is destined to become a loungewear set um, I just want cozy things at the moment when I'm at home so I'm going to turn this into some probably some leggings or um, maybe the Stella joggers because they're quite narrow fitting um, just with a possibly a Freya top or I might use the Juno pajama pattern to turn this into some cozy pajamas that I can just wear around the house um, absolutely love that fabric it's got such amazing fun colors in it um, and I've wanted tie-dye fabric for ages I think they've still got some left so I'll link them down below if they've still got any of this fabric left and they had another colorway I absolutely love the colors in that and they also had another colorway of this fabric so I'll link them down below if they've still got it but I absolutely love that too um, and I know exactly what I want to turn that into and I'm hoping my overlocker will come back soon and I'll be able to get that sewn up on the overlocker and I'll have a new loungewear suit for the Christmas holidays for when I'm enjoying lots of yummy food and uh, watching movies with my girls. Then I've got two, well three pieces of fabric um, but two boxes because um, I ordered them separately from Felicity Fabrics. Now I do blog for Felicity Fabrics but this fabric I bought myself. Um, and the first fabric I've got is called Brushed Checks. So it's an 80% poly, 15% rayon, and a 5% spandex. Now, when I bought it, I didn't read the bit about the spandex. But I'll hold it up. They're so soft. It's like a tartan effect. And it's green and um, brown and black. It's very difficult to show up on camera, the colour, actually. Um, and I got two metres of this because I originally wanted to turn it into the Nina Lee Portobello um, trousers. So I originally wanted to turn this fabric into the Nina Lee Portobello trousers, which is quite a high-waisted trouser. Um, but this doesn't call for any kind of um, stretch. And this fabric, because it's got the spandex content, it has got a little bit of stretch. You can see, actually, it's got quite a bit of stretch. So now I'm wondering, I don't know if this fabric would be suitable for the Portobello trousers. Um, but I do want to turn it into a pair of trousers. I just don't know which pattern to use now. So if anyone's got any suggestions of what pattern to use for a fabric that has got stretch, um, please do let me know because it has got quite a lot of stretch now. And I'm worried that if, because the Portobello trousers, you've got an invisible zip at the back and then a button. And I'm worried that if I chose a fabric that had that much stretch in, um, it just wouldn't work for that pattern. So please do let me know if anyone's got any suggestions of a um, trouser pattern that this fabric would work in that's got that much stretch. Um, so let me just check the content again. So yeah, it's got 5% spandex, 8% poly and 15% rayon. And it's a brushed fabric, so it's really lovely and soft. So I do really want to turn it into some trousers, um, but I'm just not sure about which pattern to use now. Because um, it's quite, um, it's a really heavy, weighty fabric too. I don't know if you can see how weighty it is, quite bouncy as well. It's got a little bit, a little bit of drape, but it is very heavy. 
So I do think it needs to be um, a pair of trousers. I'm just not sure what pattern to use now. So I would really welcome some suggestions of what pattern to use for that fabric. But it's absolutely beautiful. It's so soft because it's a brushed fabric. It's so amazing and soft. I absolutely adore it. And then the second fabric that I bought, well, it's two pieces of fabric, but it's a similar um, type of fabric. So I bought two. Um, and you get these gorgeous little swatches from Felicity Fabrics. And these are new, looks like it's winter themed. So I got um, navy vintage flowers, um, which is 95% cotton, 5% elastane. And then I've got animal print aqua, which is the same content, 95% cotton and 5% elastane. So if I show you, so they're both jersey fabrics. So the first one is this one. I just love it's a blue background and it's got all those lovely bright pops of color the second piece of fabric is this beautiful jersey which is aqua and again it's got all these lovely bright pops of color and i'm going to use both of these fabrics to make the billy sweatshirt which is a tilly in the buttons pattern use both of those fabrics to make this pattern the billy um, sweater and dress and i'm going to use it to make this version with the balloon sleeves so just a really lovely sweater which the model is wearing there um, and I absolutely love both of these. I just love the colours. I think it'll be really nice with a pair of trousers um, and just add a bit of colour and actually really nice under like a pinafore and things as well. So I'm looking forward to turning those two fabrics into beautiful jumpers. And I think, yeah, I love the bright colours. So it'll just be a really lovely, bright, colourful sweatshirt. Um, oh, I've got two more pieces of fabric to show you. So the first one is a remnant fabric that I got from Sony Sunshine a few weeks ago. And it's this gorgeous jacquard fabric. Now it's quite a lightweight jacquard fabric. Um, I'll hold it up. It's got a tiny bit of movement to it. And what I really love about this is on one side, it's more gold. You see more gold and a bit of black. And then on the other side, you see more black and then a little bit of gold. Um, it is quite lightweight. I managed to get, it was a remnant piece, remnant piece. So I think I've got over two meters of this fabric and I'm not quite sure what to turn it into. I was thinking a jacket and I've got a pattern which I'll share at the end, um, which I could turn some of this into, but I've got one, two, I think I've got like two and a half meters of this fabric. So I was thinking of turning it into um, a Zadie, but it's not super scratchy, but because it's a jacquard, it has got that sort of rough feel to it. So I wondered whether if I turned it into a Zadie jumpsuit, would it feel a little bit uncomfortable to wear? I'm not sure. And then I thought maybe I could turn it into a dress, but then I'd have the same dilemma unless I lined it. So I'm not quite sure what to turn it into, but I just absolutely love it. I think it's really fun. And I think I could have some fun playing around with using the wrong side and the right side together. A really nice effect. Um, I'm also not sure how to wash this fabric, so I haven't washed it yet. So it's a jacquard. If anyone's got any top tips for how to care for this fabric, please let me know in the comments below um, because I haven't washed it because I'm scared I'm going to ruin it. And if anyone's got any suggestions of what to turn it into, um, I'd like to make something to wear over Christmas. Not that we're going to be going anywhere, but just a nice outfit to wear on Christmas Day, maybe, um, so I can feel nice and dressed up and special. Um, but I absolutely love that fabric. I just, I'm stumped as to what to turn it into. So if anyone's got any suggestions, please do let me know in the comments down below. And then the last fabric I've got, I just absolutely love, but I need to think really carefully about what to turn it into because it's got Naked Ladies on it. And this is from, I think I got it from the rag shop. If, I, if I'm wrong, I'll pop a little card in that says where I got it from. Um, and it is a viscose. It's a beautiful um like really soft fabric if i hold it up you can see the movement it's got loads of drape to it which is just fabulous and if i hold it closer you'll be able to see that it's got all these like i think they're leopards and then there's naked ladies all over it which i absolutely love i love the color as well because it's a blue with this gorgeous rich like brown color which i absolutely adore um, yeah, and I just think it's really fun with those ladies all over the leopards. I think it's a really fun fabric. Um, I wouldn't wear it to work because it's not appropriate for the children. Um, but I do want to turn it into something and I'm just not sure what to turn it into. 
So I've got two metres of this, so I've got quite a bit to play around with. Um, I could turn it into a dress, one of my favourite dresses, um, but I'm not sure what pattern to use because I want to really showcase that gorgeous fun print too. Could turn it into some trousers, um, some wide leg trousers. I could turn it into some culottes, which I'm absolutely loving at the moment. But if anyone's got any suggestions for what to turn this into, please do let me know in the comments below. I'd really welcome your suggestions. I love those rich colours. Um, so yeah, it's, I got this a few weeks ago and I still haven't decided what to turn it into, but it was such a fun print. And those colours I just absolutely love. So I had to get some and it's got this gorgeous movement too. I just don't know what to turn it into. On to, so that's all the fabrics. So now I'm going to share with you some patterns that I've been buying. And I've got a couple of children's patterns and then the rest of the patterns are for me. So I'll start with a couple of children's patterns. So this is um, by Poppy and Jazz, which is um, part of the Sew Over It brand and chain. Um, and they've released a couple of new children's patterns. Now these patterns only go up to six years, so they're not suitable for my girls who are 10 and 12, but I've got a couple of friends that have got little ones and I've got a nephew who is um, three, who I'm gonna use these patterns for too. And the first one is the walnut duffel coat, which I just absolutely adore. So it comes in sizes 18 to 24 months, up to six years. Um, it's a pattern that you line. It's just absolutely beautiful. I haven't opened it yet, actually, because but I will open it because the size chart is inside and I think there might be more line drawings inside too. So here is the duffel coat. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just think it's such a traditional, cute little duffel. Um, and I can't wait to make some cute little versions. I'm going to make a version for my um, nephew and then I've got a friend who's got a little boy who I'm going to make a version to, version for too. So here are the line drawings. Um, so it's a lovely traditional duffel coat and you get the little toggle fasten detail and you can line the coat too. So I am going to line it. Fabric requirements between 1 and 1 1.5 metres and then you also need a metre to 1.2 metres of lining. Um, and I am going to line it. I don't have fabric at the moment, but I am looking carefully. I really actually like the green version on the front. Um, and it's going to be, they're both going to be for boys. So I need to think really carefully about what fabric to use for them and what lining fabric. But I'm really excited about giving that a try. I think they'll make really cute um, duffel coats. And I'm a little bit sad that it doesn't go up to my girl's age because I'd love to make them both duffel coats too. Um, if anyone knows actually of a duffel coat pattern for children that are sort of in the teens, so age 10 to 12, do let me know down below because I would love to make my girls duffel coats um, but I just haven't found a pattern yet. But I'm really pleased with that one. So that's the walnut duffel coat by Poppy and Jazz. And then the other pattern they released was um, pomegranate pyjamas which is the same age range so it's 18 to 24 months, up to six years. And again, I'll just open it because the size um, range, the size chart and the line drawings are inside. And I think it's always useful to see the line drawings. So I'll just flip to the back so you can see what the line drawings look like. But they're just a, a really beautiful traditional pyjama. i just fold that so you can see. Um, button down pyjamas with this lovely collar detail and then just your standard pyjama bottoms with an elasticated casing there. Um, I think they'll be really cute sewn up. Um, I'm just going to use a cotton fabric so it'll be quite stable and I want it to be something that's really comfortable. Um, I haven't got any fabric in mind yet but I am going to look for some beautiful cotton that's got some um, possibly like cartoony prints on or just some pictures. This has been sewn up in a sort of a green colour with speckles all over. I really love the look of the pomegranate pyjamas. Um, they're quite a traditional looking pyjama pattern. So I'm really looking forward to making those up as well. And I think that's going to formulate some of my December um, sewing, especially over Christmas, because I'd like to gift this and I'd like to gift the duffel coat as Christmas presents for both my nephew and our friend that has got a little boy. Um, I think they'll make really lovely Christmas gifts. So I'm hoping to get a little bit of time in the next few weeks to sew up those. And then the other pattern I got from Sew Over It is a pattern that I've wanted for a while, but I've sort of, I don't know why I haven't just gone and bought it. 
But anyway, they had a Black Friday sale, so I thought it was my perfect opportunity to buy the pattern. And it is the Coco jacket. Um, I could do with a few more of these type of jackets for like the spring term for when I'm at work. So I can pop on a jacket so um, I feel it still looks a little bit smart, um, but I feel comfortable and it's a little bit of an extra layer. So the recommendations for this pattern, medium to heavyweight fabrics like tweed, boot clay, viscose linen, melton, jacquard and boiled wool. Um, and then you can also um, line it, well you do line it. Um, so you need a lining fabric like an acetate, polyester or viscose. So I don't have any fabric in mind yet, but I have wanted to make myself a little Chanel inspired um, jacket. Um, this is quite an old pattern of theirs um, and I've wanted to make it for a while. So it was just the perfect opportunity whilst it was in the sale. It's a really cute cropped jacket, long sleeves. Um, it's got princess seams down the front. So it um, gives it a really nice shape. So I'm really looking forward to... Um, making that and actually this might make a really cute cocoa jacket I'm not sure because I feel like that will be quite a festive jacket but I, yeah that might work as a little jacket um, I've got a few other fabrics in my stash that might work as a little cocoa jacket I'm going to twirl this one as well because I'm not quite sure about the measurements I'm between sizes so I am definitely going to give this a twirl because I also want to make sure that the finish is absolutely beautiful on there I'm going to twirl it first um, and I might do a vlog about my experiences and maybe a sew along to do with this little jacket. If anyone's interested, let me know. Then the next pattern is a pattern I've talked about already, but it's the Sew House 7 um, Free Range Slacks. So I just wanted a, a nice, comfortable, straightforward trouser pattern to sew up. There's two versions. So there's quite a tailored leg and then there's a wide leg. Um, I'm probably going to make the tailored version to begin with, which is this one. But I also like the look of this one too, um, especially just for a trouser to wear around the house. Um, this comes in sizes double zero to 20 and a double zero is um, 23 and a half inch waist and a 34 inch hip. And then a 20 is a 39 and a half inch waist and a 50 inch hip. Uh, fabric recommendations, um, something that's not too heavy like linen, cotton linen blend, cotton twill, rayon linen blends light to midweight denim, tensile twill, cotton poplin and a wool gabardine. So a huge range of fabrics that you can use to make these. So I'm looking forward to giving those a go and I think they'll be a great trouser pattern that I've got in my stash. And then the last two patterns I've got to share with you are both from the Friday Pattern Company and I got these from the fold line because they also had a Black Friday sale on. And the first one, um, this was inspired by Tamlin from Sewn on the Time because she's made a beautiful version of the Westcliff dress. Um, I'll link her details down below, but I'm sure you follow her already. Um, and this is called the Westcliff Dress by Friday Pattern Companies. So it is a stylish and comfortable knit dress. It's got a faux wrap front, an A-line skirt and an optional gathered lower tier, which I love. So I want to make this version full on maxi. I'm really excited to make that. Comes in sizes extra small up to 4X. And for an extra small, the bust measurement is a 32 to 33 inch waist measurement 24 to 25 inch and hip measurement 34 to 35 inch and then a 4x is a 53 to 54 inch bust 46 to 47 inch waist and a 56 to 57 inch hip um, it gives you the finished garment measurements too and then it also lets you know what the fabric recommendations are fabric recommendations for this pattern um, it says perfect for knit fabrics of all kinds, you need at least 25% stretch. And then there's a stretch guide included, which I think is really helpful. Um, if you choose a knit with more body like a ponty, it will have a more structured modern look. And if you sew it in a drapier knit like a round jersey, it will have a more romantic look. Um, and I find that really helpful, including that stretch guide. Um, yeah, and it looks like a really nice, comfortable dress. And I know Tamlin really enjoyed sewing it up. And she said that it was really comfortable to wear too. So I am looking forward to getting some of those sewn up. Um, I don't know when. It's not, not a pattern that's going to jump straight to the top of my pile. But I'm glad that I got that pattern in the sale. And then the last one is the Avenue... Av I don't know how to say this. Avenue jumpsuit. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Um, by Friday Pattern Companies. And it's an easy... Um, jumpsuit for woven fabrics and I've got loads of jumpsuits but I just love the look of this um, I like how it looks like it's a top tucked into trousers and there is the other detail as well it's a cropped trouser 
So it's an easy to sew jumpsuit with billowy sleeves. That was the other thing that I love. I love the sleeve detail and wide legs. Um, this jumpsuit will have you breathing into any event, looking good and feeling fine. Elastic gathers the neckline, which I thought was a really interesting way to finish the neckline. Um, and um, also the waistline is gathered with an elastic. So it makes it really comfortable and an easy fit. And it can be worn on or off the shoulder. So you could have it up here or you could put the elastic around here. Um, so I just thought it was a really interesting jumpsuit. Comes in the same sizes as the Westcliff dress. So an XS to an 4X, um, similar sizing as well. So an XS bust 32 to 33 inch, waist 24 to 25 inch and hips 34 to 35 inch. And then a 4X 53 to 54 inch bust, 46 to 47 inch waist and a 56 to 57 inch hip. Uh, these are the line drawings at the back. So yeah, you've got the elastic around the neckline, these big billowy sleeves and the elastic on the end and then the elastic across the middle. And what I really like is this billowy look. And let's have a look at fabric recommendations. Um, so it says the Avenue jumpsuit has an easy, comfortable fit. It's designed for woven fabrics, but would work in a stable knit fabric as well. You're going to want to choose a fabric that feels good on your skin as this jumpsuit covers most of your body and you'll get a different look depending on the type of fabric you select. So it looks great in linen, rayon chalice and wovens with a bit of drape. Avoid anything that's too stiff or heavy as it will make the jumpsuit bulky. And they encourage us to be creative and daring with the fabric. Um, so I am really looking forward to giving that a go. I think it'll be a really comfortable sew and I love the model. I love the look here. This is exactly the look that I want to go for, this billowy, relaxed, floaty, comfortable look. So I'm really pleased that I've got that one too. This one is probably going to jump right up my um, makes list. I just need to think about what fabric I would choose. I've got a couple of plain fabrics actually because I really like it in a plain. Um, and I'm going to go over onto, onto Instagram and have a look at the hashtag for this pattern to get some inspiration too. So that is all of my fabrics and my patterns that I've bought this month. Um, I hope you found that interesting. If you've got any suggestions for some of the fabrics that I've shared, do let me know, especially this jacquard fabric that I got from Sew Me Sunshine. Any of the companies that I've mentioned or people that I've mentioned, I'll link all of them down below. Um, thank you as always for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if um, you're not a subscriber already, please do hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification because you'll get told when I bring out another video. My next video, I think, is going to be my December sewing plans. And I'm also planning to film a video where I share some of the sewing books that I've got because I've had a few people requesting them. I always keep them up here and also over in my sewing area too. So I thought I'd share the books that I've got and which books I found useful and which books I haven't. Um, thank you as always for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Take care. Bye.